Well, the thing about you mentioning the Rangers, we had some men come in from the Rangers and transferred into Airborne, and they told us that the Airborne was the toughest they'd ever been in. It, it wasn't, the Rangers wasn't nothing like the Airborne, and they give us good credit for being tougher than they were in the Rangers. But uh, we had uh, big two or uh, three inch ropes in round in round size. I don't know how you explain it, but anyway, there's two or three things. They tied up in the ceiling of a two-story building, and we'd climb those so many times a day, plus taking hikes, walk, double time in there where we go. Instead of walking natural, running natural, they was right behind us. Everybody was exercising. They went Absolutely, exercise crazy, but I, I look back and see that's really important. The very next day we arrived there on, the, I believe it was 22nd, 23rd of uh, December in Belgium, and the very next day it started snowing. Well, we didn't think a whole lot about that, the snow at that time, but it continued to snow until it reached 18 inches deep and the temperature was pretty cold. We spent three months up there in Belgium in the Battle of the Bulls, and a lot of men, when they get shot at or get killed, uh, when they fell, uh, they just freeze in that position, they what position they fell in. The third uh, combat I was in was South Southern Germany, the industrial end of Germany, we invaded there and went on in and took it and also in the meanwhile while we were attacking the southern Germany and going through their industrial part and occupying that space, uh, we had the privilege of, of capturing and occupying it. Hitler's Eagle Nest, what they call it, where he spent a lot of time in Austria, is in the edge of Austria, and Hitler had his uh, uh, vacation spot down there, a real beautiful place up on in the mountain, out in the mountains. 